What's up guys, c 13 here, and today I'm gonna to be giving you my full review of the laser measurement tool on the CAT S61. Alrighty guys, so here we are is pointing at what is the best flat bare wall in my room here. So again, I apologize if the camera moves a little bit. The tripod's sitting on my bed, so if it shakes, that's what's going on. First step, tap to open the app. When the app opens, you'll see the warning shows up. That's telling you about the laser, telling you not to be stupid and look at it, and also telling you that it's disabled in airplane mode. Tap to dismiss. Now you'll see once the app opens, the laser is visible on the wall there, and you can also see and the app itself it's visible and it's identified with a green square if for some reason the app is not identifying it let's say it's finding it over here just tap on your laser dot there and it'll focus in try to get it centered now you see that line on the bottom that's moving dynamically as I tilt and pan the phone that is your alignment line and the goal is to keep it green now it measures for both tilt and angle as you can see now the optimal measurements that you're going to get are when the phone is held straight, parallel to the ground, and parallel to the surface you're trying to measure. So let's say I'm trying to measure this wall in front of me. I want to tilt the phone so that the line is perfectly parallel with the line in the grid, and also at the same level as the line in the grid, right there. And you want it to be green. The laser will shut off, and now you'll see your measurement. I have my measurements set to feet, so what I see in the corner is 4.24 feet. And there it is. It identifies the laser, and again, in the case that it somehow didn't identify the laser, you can tap to focus on the laser point. Now, to access the other tools, hit this icon right here. You'll see the line measurement tool, your triangular measurement tool, and your rectangular measurement tool appear. Your line measurement tool measures the distance between two points on the wall. So let's say I want to measure the point between the header board of my bed and right over here. That's reading four feet, and you can see that right there. Again, also, I can change my units dynamically on the go before or after I take my measurement. I just select the units here, and I can change to inches in a snap. Now you can see it's reading 48.2 feet. Again, I'll put that back, but you also have options for metrics. So you have meters and centimeters if that's your speed. Now if we tap this icon again, I can move to the next tool, the triangular tool, and you can see here, this will allow me to measure both the area and the side lengths of any triangular space within the measured area. So as you can see here, the triangular space has an area of 1.885 feet, and one side is 1.4 feet, one side is 2.6, and another is 3 feet. Now if I tap this icon again, which changes to whichever last tool you used, I can now also access my rectangular tool. And as you can see here, I can drag the rectangle into whatever shape I want. And I can measure the area within, which is 6.281 feet. And I can see all the side lengths. Now, if I had one gripe about this app, it would definitely be that there's no way to dynamically move the whole rectangle as the shape it is, or the whole triangle, etc. Basically, in order to reposition any of these, I sort of have to drag them one point at a time. And when you have multiple measurements on screen, like you might if you were trying to plan out a certain wall structure or the layout of a wall with windows and different orifices and openings in it, this is a little bit annoying because I can't do it quickly and I have to change the shape of whatever I've already measured out just to move the shape. So basically, if I have already perfectly planned out a rectangle, if it gets in front of a triangle that I've added to the view, I now have to sort of move it around to then access the points of the triangle. In addition, the measurements can kind of get confusing sometimes. As you can see here, if I were to move the rectangle a little bit over, it could be confusing trying to figure out which one's a triangle and which one's the rectangle. So again, I think in future updates, this app should include the ability to tap and drag the entire shape that, or measurement that you've panned out, even the line, even the point-to-point -point measurement. If I have four feet measured out exactly, 
and I want to measure four feet, it'd be nice to be able to just tap and drag that whole line and measure between any points on the area in four feet. Anyway, that's pretty much it. And of course, I can tap here to save and then tap over here and I can view my saved measurements. As you can see, I've got a measurement in my garage. And if I go back, I've got this measurement saved as well with all my points on there. Again, I can analyze those however I want. In addition, when I'm taking measurements, if I want to measure the, the distance between two points or measure the area or anything precisely, you can see that as I'm dragging, a square appears in the bottom right corner, allowing me to precisely line up with a specific area. You can see here that it allows me to line up exactly with that point. The same goes for if I was trying to align with the corner of a windowsill or a header panel or something like that. Now, my one gripe again is that if in the measurement that you've taken, the thing you want to align with is in the corner of the screen, it becomes difficult to see what you're doing as your finger is covering it. And unfortunately, there's no way to reposition this precise measurement box. Again, these are updates that I think CAT would do well to put into the next version of this measurement tool. But anyway, guys, that's the CAT S61 measurement tool. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, if you have one of these phones and you use this thing on a daily basis at work, at home, in your daily projects, whatever, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more, get subscribed.